I was just about to call it quits, but I found another one. Nice. <laughs> Don't worry about those who talk behind your back. They're behind you for a reason. <laughs> good morning or good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the channel if you are new to it. My name is Polly, your weird host. Today, we will be looking for gold underwater like we sometimes do and love so much. But this time, we are much further upstream because I believe this is where our bigger gold may be coming from. In our last video, we found almost half an ounce of gold in a single crack. I returned to this area only to find out that if I wanted to get to the very bottom, I would need more than basic hand tools. So until I figure out a plan, or until the water at least slows down a bit, we're gonna have to stick up to the shallower areas like upstream here, and hopefully find the mother load. Here's what we are using today. We have a mask and snorkel. We have your basic scratcher tool, a snuffer bottle to suck up any gold, tweezers to pick up any bigger gold, a poison bottle in case we find more mercury, and even a bag for miscellaneous goodies. All right, let's quit wasting time and get in. So the first place I saw was this corner, which had a bunch of heavy rocks in it. Typically, this means there could be gold here too. Now it's just about getting to the bottom, but as you can see, there's just a lot of overburden. Well, I think I'm gonna have to come back to this one. This next spot had the same kind of good signs, except it was shallower and much easier to work. When you are in the flow of water, these little pinch points usually have gold in them. Just like our first piece of the day. But here's an even better example of that. Over here, I'm just trying to suck up some of these what I call floaters. Typically, I would have left this spot sooner, but digging just a little bit deeper leaves us with more candy. Oh. 
And right here is where my camera decided to abort the mission. So for whatever reason, my camera stopped working. I continued to look for gold for about maybe an hour or so. Found a little bit, nothing too crazy. And then I went home. So now it's been three days later and it has been raining really, really hard. But now I'm back and <laughs> as you can see, the water has raised significantly. And it's not really a big deal, but it's just gonna be a bit harder to find a safe place to enter and find some exposed bedrock. But I suppose it's worth having a shot. I mean, if anything, the water's gonna be high enough where we can actually snipe some higher bedrock benches. So we'll give that a shot, see how we go, and hopefully it's good. <laughs> I spotted a piece of gold down at my feet here, so I was just trying to find it again. And any time I went down, I had to hold my breath. I know it's not easy to see these pieces on camera, but trust me, when you are there, the tiniest pieces are super obvious. I guess that's it for this spot. Normally when I bring tweezers, I don't find any gold, so this is good news. Yay! And right as I started getting cold, more gold to keep me in. Another 
Nice. <laughs> it's that time again where I get out because I'm warm. I was out there for about four and a half hours. In the first two hours, uh, I'm estimating, I didn't find anything. But on the way back, that's when I started finding things. So it's funny how that works out that way. But I'm really warm. I'm sure I have duck lips right now. This is the gold we have and yeah, we did pretty good. That's a lot of gold. I mean, nothing really huge in there, but that's, that's pretty good. We got a piece of lead in there too. Yeah, so I'm gonna hurry up and get changed before I freeze to death. So see you back at the house. All right, back at the house now. I couldn't do my normal transition that I usually do to get here because, well, my hands were frozen. <laughs> so it wasn't a bad time today. Um, I just had trouble trying to stay still because I didn't want to get blown downstream, but eh, that's sometimes that's just what you gotta do. The gold is now dry, so let's have a look. Ooh, shiny, not bad. We even have a few pickers in there, which is fun to see. And surprisingly, only one piece of lead. So for two days, not tea bag. Now let's wait all for funsies. Starting with our big piece of the day, or our picker of the day. I'm gonna guess 0.25. 0.5. Oh, yeah, I like fire two a bit better. Now I'm just gonna weigh it all at once. 0.52 plus, yes, I'm in bare feet. What's the damage today? 2.57 grams. Sweet. So if you're like me and prospect for gold not as a source of income, it's not gonna matter how much you find. What's gonna matter is how it looks in a spoon, on a pan, on another spoon on another pan. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by leaving a like, comment, or even hitting that subscribe button. It's absolutely free. And if you enjoyed this video, chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what's coming up in the near future. If you're interested to see anything else extra, like behind the scenes footage or hints to see what's coming up in the near future, I do have a social media open for you to leisure your eyes at. <laughs> and if you want to take your support a little bit further, I do have a merchandise store open too. Links are in the description. Like always, thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And until the next one, yeah, ah, we'll see you later. Nice. <laughs>